entire life I believed if you're going to invest yourself and your time into something, then do it to the fullest of your abilities. It, do it and do it well. You know, you only live once, so make it count. But also soon's colorful life started in 1928, but it didn't start with fame or fortune, and, and the world wasn't handed to him on a silver platter. And that's one of the many things that I find so encouraging about him. Vidal was determined to make his mark. Anything he was interested in, he committed himself to mastering it. Vidal didn't put his integrity to rest with the satisfaction of knowing he had mastered the world of hair in the 1950s. He created a new standard in the hair industry. Vidal didn't raise the bar per se, he was the bar. He broke barriers by creating shape and simplicity. Inspired by architecture, he cut angles to accentuate the bone structure of one's face, thus developing a look that abandoned the tradition of stiff, sprayed hairstyles that were piled on your head. The fact that Vidal made the decision to share his craft changed everything. Every individual is essentially under the same master. Time. The clock tells us when to wake up, when to leave the house, when to eat, when to sleep. Although the basics of time will never change, as the days go by, it seems the same 60 second minute gets shorter and shorter. But all wanted to create a look that allowed women to wake up with beautiful hair. He offered them a look that wasn't just mimicking of a movie star or the president's wife. It was for them. And that is why I feel I have a likeness to the doll. I don't want a cookie cutter chair for my clients to sit in. I want every person who sits in my chair to feel like they're the only person in the world. Like a superstar, royalty. I want to make them feel like I'm there for them. I want to do everything I can to ensure they are comfortable, happy, and excited about who they are on the outside. To convey the beauty they behold on the inside. I want my clients to take the hands of the clock and turn them towards themselves for a change. I want them to absorb attention and not have to pay attention or give attention. It may be a short-lived feeling, but that feeling can make someone feel incredible. And that is exactly why I want to be a cosmetologist, to change the lives of others through beauty. And essentially, I think we're all aiming for the same goal in life, and that's happiness. For me, however, happiness doesn't start in my chair, it starts behind it.